Hi everyone, it's Laurie and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today I am going to do a flip through of my last design team project for Joey over at Creating with Joey. And I did make a journal and I used her um, Shabby Chic Swan digital that is available in her shop. And I will make sure that all of her links are in the description box below. Alright guys, so here we go. Um, so for the closure, I just have some sorry silk here, um, and there is a little, um, a rosette here that is just wrapped around that, so that is our closure. Um, try to make sure I'm in frame here. Um, so on the cover, I had this, um, this is actually a paper placemat, um, so I had that in my stash, so I used it, it's just script. Uh, I did put some lace down the side before I sewed in the signature. Um, then I put a vintage applique that I cut off of a vintage wedding dress. I have a padded heart here, and it actually has a little bitty pocket right there. It is a fabric pocket, um, a rosette here, and a little charm here on a ball pin with a shoe on there and some seam binding. So, we open her up. Just going to hop up and see what you guys are seeing. Okay, that looks pretty good. Excuse the shadow. It's going to be that way, guys, until I figure it out. Don't know when it's going to be, but I love my space. I love being in here, so I'm going to film in here. So, and, you know, if that little bit of shadow bothers you, we'll see you in a different video. Um, so, this was uh, a pretty big piece. I actually cut some down even after I folded this over. So, I did fold over the front and the back. I sewed around the whole thing and then sewed down the pockets. Um, this right here is one of the little journaling cards from the kit. And then these right here are just some um, different papers. Uh, for little, um, you know, notebooks. So I decided to tuck a couple of those in there for some writing space. Absolutely beautiful kit. So I did tear down all the pages and sewed around them. And I took two pages, um, put them together, and sewed them together. So that makes my pages really thick. Um, I'm not sure why, but I really, really love this idea. So instead of just printing one page front and back, I've been printing them single-sided, then picking them out and sewing them together. Then we have an avocado dyed paper dolly here. Uh, and then this is avocado dyed, and I just have a um, lace sampler card there. The word hope down here, which is uh, from the kit. And then this right here was um, a fabric tag pocket that we made. So I just backed the back of it with um, her kit. We have some fabric here for the pocket. Put one of her little journaling cards on the front. Some lace, some flat back pearls. Uh, at the top, just tied this ribbon here. A bit of bling there. Also back this with one of the papers from the kit. And then this right here is just a letter from a journal maker. Uh, I had gotten this several, several years ago, and I keep forgetting to put it in my journals. And it's just tied close with some sorry silk. So that's what's in that pocket. And then I just have a heart paper clip in rose gold that that just clips in. This is truly a writing journal, guys. Not lots of tags and pockets and things like that. Um, it is a journal. I put this in last minute because I love the sound of that parchment paper. Um, so I took some fabric strips that I have, um, and I actually sewn, sewed some ruffles. So I have some ruffles going throughout. And I did leave all of the, if you can see this right here, where I sewed the two pages together and, um, like this is from that. I did leave that hanging because I actually do love that look um, and then we have some antique music sheet here that has been avocado dyed and then fabulous this is from the kit and then another um, lace sample card there and then we have just a coffee dyed um, 
Yeah, coffee filter. That thing. Look at how pretty that is. Just put some lace down the side here. And then here is another word from the kit. Took another one of those scrappy pads uh, that's got some vintage and antique lace and then some sorry silk. And, yep, just a little scrappy pad. And I did glue that down. This is avocado dyed paper here with the hearts on it. And then this paper here, guys, I have no idea what it, what it is. Um, kind of feels like onion skin, but it was in my stash. And this was already there. You know, have no idea where it came from, how it got that way. Um, but I thought it went well with the pink. And then right here we have some cream colored, um, I think this is anti no vintage lace here on that page. And then on this page, this is avocado dyed. Just did one of the small journaling cards and glued it down. And then this right here is just a paper clip cluster that I had made many, many moons ago. And this right here is a rusted safety pin. It's got some lace on there, some eyelet trim. And this right here is actually a coffee dyed or a tea bag. Uh, and then a, just a little piece of something there that was in my stash. So that's just clipped on with a paper clip. Put another little piece of that parchment paper. Here's another little cluster that I made with a tea bag on the back. And that's just the flap of an envelope that I put in here. Then we have this heart trim here. Just made a ruffle and put it down the side there. And this right here is the middle of our signature. We have another heart ruffle here that I made. This beautiful page here. This is the other side of that envelope. And I actually flipped the envelope when I put it in. Instead of sewing it in here, I actually sewed it in the opposite way. And then here is just a little cluster on some corrugated cardboard with some vintage and antique lace. Little bitty tiny snippets and another um, rusted safety pin there and then you turn over here and a little journaling card from the kit here that is in there the other piece of that parchment paper um, avocado dyed paper again took a little journaling card and just put it there and then this was also just a little um, cluster type thing I had made with paper and laces um, and again, it is just clipped over, so we have that there. Page from the kit with that vintage lace. Yep, that's what it's called. The other piece of that paper, that unknown onion skin paper. And this right here is another one of the fabric pockets that we made. So I just covered this with the kit, just have a piece um, I think this was actually from a formal dress. Just put that up there. Put the beautiful piece of the kit back there. There's the fabric pocket. We just blinged it up. And on the back, I actually used some um, uh, embossed paper cardstock for the back. Dream, that is one of the... Um, yeah, elements from the kit part of the ephemera so that heart just goes there and then we have another little scrappy pad this is yellow but it is actually a piece of vintage paper dolly it was a big square one that I had so I just took that and then a piece of uh, coffee dyed index card and just put that up in there like that and that goes down in that pocket like that and then here we have some more of that lace there. And then that um, coffee filter. Um, Shine Bright, again, as a word from the kit. Also took just another scrappy pad. This is 1941. Just different things and put that there on this coffee dyed. No, this is, uh, I think it's coffee and avocado dyed. And then that avocado dyed music sheet another little ruffle here that I did on the side and that parchment paper again for that wonderful sound and then here we have another tag fabric pocket um, that we decorated up this is an element from the kit got some pink flat back pearls 
got some um, flower. There's a string there. Yep. Um, trim there. This is part of the kit. Some little bling up there. And then just a piece of fabric there. And again, just a little scrappy pad here with different things on it. That's some stamping, pink paper, and antique music sheet. And one of those lace dyed index cards goes down in that pocket. And again, it's put on with a heart shaped paper clip bling. That beautiful paper. And then here, this is a word from the kit, believe, and just took this little scrappy pad and glued it down there. And then we have the other side of that avocado dyed dolly. Last page, look at how beautiful that is. This was also in the kit. And back here, we have two more little scrappy pads that I just put in the back pocket there. And then this is the back cover. I had so much fun working with this kit. Joey, thank you so much. Um, due to, uh, as most of you know, health reasons, um, I am taking a break from being on uh, Joey's Design Tea Project. And this was actually my last one that should have been completed in June. So I do apologize, Joey, for... Um, not getting this done. Um, but yeah, this is my last project for right now due to health reasons. Uh, I'm not sure when this will post, but I am, um, slated for a major surgery, uh, on the 24th. And I think today's the 17th, so one week from today I will be having surgery. Alright guys, I hope the shaking wasn't too much. I am actually looking because this is a fold-out table. And you see if you barely wiggle it, we wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, I don't like the wiggling. So I am in the market for a new table to go in here. But like an actual, uh, I want a white distressed, actual heavy wood desk. Um, but one big enough to house all my pretties because I absolutely love the way that I have it set up. But um, yeah. All right, guys. I will stop rambling. I will make sure that all of Jovi's links are in the description box below. Yep, she's pretty. Nice and squishy. Just things poking out everywhere. Yep, I actually absolutely love making this project. But yeah, all of Jovi's links will be in the description box below. I love you guys. Thank you all so much, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.